How is possible to build a 1,000-bed capacity hospital in just 10 days? In response to the coronavirus disease outbreak, China built a 1,000-bed capacity hospital in just 10 days from January 23, 2020, to February 2, 2020, to accommodate the increasing numbers of coronavirus patients. And they actually did it. From the engineering world perspective, how is possible to build in just a very short period of time considering all the aspects of design? This video will investigate how seems to be an impossible task can convert into possible and into reality in just 10 days. But before we proceed, kindly hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell for you to be notified of the future uploads. Here is a few information about the project, the hospital is modeled after the Xiao Tangshan Hospital, which was built in Beijing in six days for the 2003 SARS epidemic. The hospital is composed of two stories that span over an area of around 60,000 square meters that can accommodate 1,000 beds with 30 ICUs and quarantine wards. The hospital was built with prefabricated elements that make it easier and faster to construct. Each unit of the prefabricated element is about 10 square meters with the capacity of two beds. Its unit is fabricated in a separate location and later delivered to the site for installation mostly by welded and bolted connection. Foundation Design The actual information and details of the foundation plan are not known. But as a structural engineer's point of view, the foundation is most likely matte foundation with prefabricated main mesh or BRC type which is easier to install than the conventional one. Since the structure is a modular type construction, it is lighter than the conventional construction and that not many steel reinforcements are required. Prior to construction, the structural analysis and design, as well as MEP and its construction plan, have been already available since it is a modular type of construction. Regardless of the cost, time is an important aspect of this construction since it is badly needed by the growing numbers of coronavirus patients. So an extensive collaboration and coordination of the different construction departments and personnel are badly required to race against time. The construction team was understaffed at the beginning with 400 construction workers including management staff, with many workers having to work two shifts, 12 hours per day. Along with the construction, more workers were added, however, culminating with up to 7,000 people working around the clock in three shifts. Here is the timeline of the construction activities from start to handing over. January 23rd. The construction and breaking of the ground start in the late evening. January 24th to January 26th. Clearing of the ground, excavation works to ground leveling begins, consisting of over 100 excavators and bulldozers. January 27th. Ground leveling completed followed by foundation works that take place right away. The start of prefabricated installation modular construction for the newly concreted foundations is also started at this time. January 28th. Steel framing installation for the two-story building and the portion of the building were completed. January 29th. The 300 plus of 1000 prefabricated unit has been installed at this time. January 30th. MEP works are ongoing while other prefabricated units are being installed. January 31st. Completed the installation of prefab containers. Other works such as MEP are ongoing at this time. February 1st. Interior finishing works are going on and at this time MEP works are operational. February 2nd. Installation of medical fixtures and equipment and some other finishing touches. The next day, February 3rd. The first patient of the coronavirus disease has been admitted for treatment. So what makes the construction faster? Having said the above, the main contributor to fast phase construction is having a prefabricated material used as the main core and shell of the building. Using these prefabricated elements, it is much easier and faster for the construction team to install each unit. The work labor force consisting of up to 7,000 personnel working together is also a big factor. With each discipline, each of these individual work hard as they could, round the clock to deliver the project as faster as possible. For that, these workers together with volunteers and contributors deserve to be honored and commend them for a job well done. 